Swordman Love, the story of Xia Yun Lu, is a Chinese action game based on the online game, Jin Wang 3, JX3. It is a historical fantasy kung fu game, set in the Tang Dynasty, where the player controls Xia Yun Lu, a swordsman who becomes entangled in the political and martial conflicts of the imperial court. The game features realistic graphics, dynamic combat, and bamboo jumping mechanics. It is expected to be released on PS5. The game is also a spin-off of a movie called The Fate of Swordsman, which was adapted from the same online game. The movie tells the story of how Xia Yun Lu escorts Prince Li Chang Mao to the capital city of Chang'an and faces various enemies and challenges along the way. Honor of Kings World is an upcoming open world action RPG developed by Tinny Studio of Tencent. It is based on the popular mobile game Honor of Kings, which is one of China's biggest games with 100 million daily users. The game is set in a fantasy world inspired by Chinese culture and history, where magic and technology coexist. The player can explore various regions to uncover ancient secrets hidden in the whisper of wind, cross paths with a diverse cast of lovable characters, create your own story alongside the living legends of different schools of thought in the Jixia Academy, or delve into the wondrous scenery of the Chang'an city, where magic and technology converge. The game features stunning graphics powered by Unreal Engine, dynamic combat system, and rich customization options. The game is planned to be released on multiple platforms worldwide and is co-created by renowned sci-fi author Lu Cixin. Faith of Danchant, Hereafter, is an upcoming action RPG developed by Beijing Joyfun. It serves as a sequel to the 2017 RPG Faith of Danchant, which is based on Chinese mythology and martial arts. The game follows the story of Xing Yuan, a demon slayer who fights against various monsters and enemies in a fantasy world. The game features a real-time combat system stunning graphics powered by Unreal Engine, and support for NVIDIA RTX ray tracing and DLSS technology. Moreover, the game will be available on PC and consoles, but the release date is yet to be confirmed.
Project Ragnarok is a sandbox MMORPG developed by NetEase, inspired by Norse mythology and the concept of Ragnarok. The game will showcase the beauty of the Norse mythological world to players. Project Ragnarok immerses players in a world revolving around apocalyptic wars between different races and the dedication of gods to protect their homeland. In addition to legendary battles, Ragnarok will feature infamous monsters, powerful gods like Thor, and giants that will challenge players. With its stunning graphics and impressive gameplay, Project Ragnarok is designed to be accessible as a multi-platform game, supporting PC, console, and mobile. Currently, the release date for Project Ragnarok has not been announced by NetEase Games. Code to Jin Yong is a fantasy action game developed by Lightspeed Studios, a subsidiary of Tencent Games. It is based on the world created in the novels of well-known wuxia writer Jin Yong. This open-world game allows players to freely explore the vast and grand world of martial arts, featuring iconic characters, locations, and stories from Jin Yong's novels. The game uses Unreal Engine 5, the world's most advanced real-time 3D creation tool to deliver photorealistic visuals, immersive experiences, and dynamic combat. The game is set for global release, but the release date is yet to be announced.
Lost Soul Aside is an upcoming action hack and slash RPG developed by Altai Zero Games. It is inspired by Final Fantasy XV and features a main character named Kazair who can transform into a dragon and wield a crystal sword. The game is set in a fantasy world where a war between humans and monsters has broken out and Kazair must fight against both sides to uncover the truth behind his past and the mysterious crystals. The game boasts fast-paced and fluid combat, stunning graphics powered by Unreal Engine 4, and support for GeForce RTX 4K capabilities, NVIDIA DLSS 3 enhancements, and ray tracing at launch. The game is coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC, but the release date is yet to be confirmed. <笑>我感觉这种很强烈的风格是一个在漫画里在这个动画电影里面很大家很喜欢的一些很动作性包括这个造型啊都是很视觉性的性格我个人都很喜欢的东西所以我们在做的过程中 也在参考这些好的作品，然后想办法我们的项目也有一些这样的实现。明白，明白。现在国内开发者，我看下来，呃，开发这种幻想飞车的力量，呃，开发团队也不是很多。目前呢，是呃，咱们的这个制作成本应
次因为我们这个试玩者其实给玩家呈现的东西还是相对比较纯粹一点的。呃，我们其实还有很多的角色养成啊，还有他的呃其他的可玩的一些东西，包括解谜啊，一些平平台跳跃内容。但是我相信后续。随着我们公开向大家公开更多的内容，所以大家可以对这方面了解的更加的详细。明白，明白。我们这个游戏的音乐，我记得咱们是应该是准备了很多的一些呃内容来给玩家体验，其中这种比较有特色的方面，比如说音乐音效啊这种方面的专业的制作，能跟是主要跟。什么样的一些伙伴来合作的？呃，现在其实我们也都有很团队，包括团队内部都有很专业的一个作曲，包括这次，呃，音效啊，还有他的其实对相对之前都有了很做了很大的调整和优化。也后期我们也会和包括很优秀的一些外包的音效音乐的伙伴的合作伙伴，以及国内外的各种。这些作曲家其实都有合作，然后后续我们也会公开一下我们游戏中有些比较，其实也有一些比较有名的作曲家参与。明白，太好了，太好了！也很期待后续把这些更好的曲子啊，更好的这个呃音频方言内容跟大家分享。当然，我们这次其实也呃因为有了 PlayStation 的很多的支持，然后我们也。很积极的利用了 PlayStation 它它的各种各样的 feature， 比如说 3D 的音效啊，还有自适应自适应扳机以及 ACD 震动。其实可能现场的玩家玩到的玩家可能已经体验到我们过场动画，包括主角的一些攻击技能中，它对震动的调整是非常非常的细腻的。有的甚至它它是跟随着音频的震动而震动。明白。然后主角和这次这个这段剧情中一样，然后主角他在他在整个冒险过程也不是非常的一帆风顺，他会遇到各种各样的挑战，各种各样的呃阻碍，一些各种各样的敌人。这个我相信后续都能很快和大家见面。明白，明白。我们感我感觉现在的这个呃完成度比我呃快走吧。这一年以来吧，这一年半以来看到的版本呢，就是变化很大啊，越来越成熟了。对对。现在我们大概是进入了一个呃一个大批量的一个规模生产的阶段了。对，我们已经正正式进行了后期的一些调优，然后一些补充我们额外的，最后保证我们所有的流程内容都能达到一个呃类似这个完成度的表现。明白，明白，太好了，我们感觉感觉。接下来还有很多工作要做，尤其后面的那些不同的关卡。那么，呃，在接下来这个流程当中呢，我们会体现什么样的一个剧情呢？接下来流程解释入主角会面对的最后的一个挑战，他这一段这一小段旅程的终点。明白，就是这次试玩版的全部内容。对的，对。对这个 BOSS 的设计。这个这个 BOSS 的玩家在后续会遇到，他这次是有更强大的 BOSS 在这儿，所以他就先跑走了。明白明白，我觉得那个设计的特别好。你到哪儿都找不到这玩意你你刚才说你是最喜欢大剑，我喜欢这个。你看我其实一直都没怎么切武器，我觉得<笑>我我感觉一直都在用这个武器。对，我们其实我看现场其实很多有很多试玩的玩家朋友们，他们都很喜欢，其实都更喜欢大剑一点。<笑>嗯，对，我们我们自己在内部玩的时候，我们很多人都喜欢那个。呃，比较长一点的那个可以投掷的那个。呃，对对，那个武器其实之前出现过的，但是我们实际上它已经和当时公布的、上次公布的整个的技能招式啊、技能啊，其实有很多的变化。然后后续我们也会在后面的
宣传的机会当中，给大家公开后续了。其实还有还有一些其他武器的情报。明白明白，太好了太好了。把他和那些怪物一起轰死！的一个呃最强大的一个 BOSS。好，我们看一下杨明老师的表演啊。师傅仍然是要鼓掌。也有可能翻车，这个我其实呃。掉头，快掉头！对，这个 BOSS 设计也是有那种，就是呃，也是很有一种那种玩那种武器的感觉啊啊，有剑啊。翅膀的设定很有特点，对对对的，包括其实刚才大家注意到，它怪物它的一些攻击中会有一些蓝色的圆圈的特效，这个它有这种攻击的时候，玩家是可以通过呃主角的一个类似防御的技能进行一个反制，然后可以打断后续的技能，这个也是我们希望，然后玩家他在除了主动的一些攻击之外，也和。怪物的攻击有一定的更强的互动啊，所以是当有蓝光或者蓝色的这个出现的时候，对的，就是给玩家的一个提醒。对的，对的，这个时候他玩家就可以进行一个反应。这个这个 boss 战的时候，镜头拉的拉的很远，对他太大了。这个是基本上我们的主角只能在他脚下面，也是很多很多玩家在说修脚的，已经看，真的是。这个用是攻击，我们后续的包括像刚才你讲的那个两个很强的枪枪的，它会更更适合针对于空中的一些联机。明白。这个剑和大剑它其实地面的性能会更强。明白。更多的是近战，让我想起来一个梗，就是我跳起来打你的膝盖。嗯，对对的，我也可以跳起来打他的膝盖。对。而玩家其实大家可以看到，那个右下角其实有一个有三个技能，这三个技能对玩家对 BOSS 的伤害其实都可以做很多，造成很多伤害。以及可能大家很好奇我们的整个刚才的评价系统啊，它其实呃是并不是完全的一个演出出玩家打得很炫，不得到了高评价，只是一个纯粹的呃。表演上的成就感，他对玩家其实会有一些增益。你说，旁边有六六一六个像这个技能点一样的，他的评价越高，这个技能点就会回的越快，然后来可以就是表现演出更多的额外的一些很华丽的攻击。所以我看是要在找这个 boss 在没有攻击的这个间隙去击败他。对的，玩家是要，呃，因为我们我我我们是打的比较熟嘛，实际上玩家可能还是要呃熟悉一下他这个 BOSS 他的各种行动，然后他哪些哪些技能会对，直接造成很大的损伤，这个其实是有，不是这个。加油跑，不然我要鼓掌了。<笑>对啊，这个被这个打到基本上，对，杨明勇会挂掉的。哈哈，时间快到。哎呦哎呦，差点翻车！小心小心，差点翻车！啊，放下去！啊，差不多了。感觉我们也让杨明老师把这个他自己最放出的 demo 打完，我感觉就差不多。而且可以做个总结，最后先看完。Okay. <笑> Black Myth Wu Kong is an action role-playing game developed by Game Science. It is based on the Chinese folklore established. In the 16th century novel Journey to the West, retelling the classic legend of the Monkey King, the game follows the adventures of Wu Kong, 
a rebellious and powerful monkey who can transform into different forms and use various weapons and skills to fight against enemies and gods. The game uses Unreal Engine 5, the world's most advanced real-time 3D creation tool, to deliver stunning graphics, immersive environments, and dynamic combat. The game is planned to be released in summer 2024 for PC and consoles. Wu Chang, Fallen Feathers, is an action RPG developed by Linzi Games, a Chinese indie studio founded in 2016. The game is set in the final years of the Ming Dynasty, in ancient China, a period of turmoil and chaos. It follows the story of Wu Chang, a fictional character on a quest to uncover the truth, behind the mysterious forces that transform a grim reality into supernatural horror. The game features a dark, an atmospheric world, drawing inspiration from historical events and locations as well as a challenging combat system that demands strategy and skill. Wu Chang, Fallen Feathers, is planned for release in 2024 on PC and consoles.